What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is General Washira and welcome to GW Media. Today we are coming live from Nyeri County. And today guys, we're gonna be learning about Kikuyu culture. So keep tuned if it's your first time. Thank you so much and feel welcome to the G Clan. Feel at home. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be learning about the Kikuyu culture. Kikuyu is one of the uh, tribes in Kenya, the main tribes in Kenya. We're gonna learn some few things about them. Yeah, so their songs so keep tuned as we unveil this brief video make sure you like it and make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel ladies and gentlemen so let's go so welcome to our G nature park it's uh situated in tetunyeri county and this is where the event of kikuyu is taking place and we're gonna be Let's learning go. a lot we're gonna be learning about the culture we're gonna be learning about the songs and basically this is uh, just one of the events that uh, make sure that or ensures that uh, Kikuyu the tribe get back to the to the source you know We are made uh, with the merchandise of t-shirts and capes and you can see they are comprised of different sizes, different colors and also they have different uh, writings. You can see uh, like these ones are uh, written Yoshokiaruimokaro and Gikoyodayo uh, and other uh, names that uh, just suit the event, uh, just to feel that uh, it's relatable. The Now here we went to pray, you know, we have our own God. He's called Gaiwa Kirenya, the God of Mount Kenya. And now we had to uh, pray facing the mountain or the Mount Kenya. Papa. Wagoda 
Ashari to make ho idio me hiana no muruku mwene ya Bafa Ana ya mugurwa Marigo na ikwa mwere na jai Na ke mubia kyo ya Getu wako ura bura deko wea And after praying the empty uh entertain us with a song And afterward, it was time for introductions. And now you do a proper introduction using the uh, native Kikuyu language. And I did so, though it was a bit tricky. But it tried. <laughs> Shoka, and a kill to her daughter Nicola Kura there, at the Siena Nigasokia, 
maithe ma itene cio tha makine thayo tukire haha tukihita nda mathie no amune ma nituciarira woje mirimo ya kansa na ndwari nyinge asthma wata ona mirimo itari na dawa itarathira no ni marakara ma ngai ni gutiganiria ungai ni marakara make ni undu wa kumu garuruta na gwika ciko ci magigi tugatiganiria unduire na tukaina magirira mihia nano o tukiugaga ni ngai ciama ni undu ucio ti undu wa kuwererwo o uguo tu no ni undu wa kumenya ati ni kuri na moritu na maundu maingi muno ona matangikeni andu acio tondu ni mane tugukorwo tugikihinga makumbi mao ona tumaigiririe tondu ni atunyani na ni aici kuri na muini urainite rwebo muthenya ungi muthuri nyendete muno na ngatia etagwo muigai wa joroge ona akihuragwo ni andu kana akiugagiririo o uguo ndaiga kanwa ke mata atiagaga wa kuga ni undu wamenyitire ya maundu tofauti tondu to kinya uguo ni ejagirira undu woerere agakirwo ni arorire na araria uru no araririe ma reke indu mwere undu umwe gikuyu kiugaga ma ndio gagirirwo chuguma ebayo ndio ka ni muranyita ma ndio gagirirwo ke ma ndio gagirirwo chuguma no kihoto ni kio gagirirwo ke ni kio gagirirwo chuguma tukire hau mudu eke uria arona ni guo kwagirire na ikare kuri arona ni guo kwagirire no uma eke itusoke na mushi tumenye magokona ma mishi na tumenye uduire bitu haria tuoreire na nigetha tuhone tuhone nigetha tuhone ni guo eh ndirenda tu karuboka mwetu nigetha tuarahuke to ntuarukia ikere kareu wo kwarahuka inyuothe ona tukuina ka ukwaja DJ we na rwebo rwa muigai na ni ndirarukenerera muno eh ruru ruru rwa corona kirinyaga turariwa tutingeiganira na haha ni guo turariwa tutingeiganira maitha maitu ni ho maiganagira ni thayo we waiwa ndukuiganira ri sinari ndire hanene no uthie ni thayo no tutige bara na tutige wiru na mehemehe twikire rwebo rwa rwa muigai arahuka ijuothe reke aito ine ru eni na ni ho turarora na tutiracoka thura the end of the first session and it's marked with a proper kikuyu dance in order to stretch our legs onto the next one to the Apturios. Here we found some women who are uh, like uh, making candles. These uh, for were, were used by African women and Kikuyu women to carry things like food. And also they used to carry bananas when they are going to uh, give dowry. Uh, basically shopping
This next session we have calabash. As you know, calabash was used to uh, serve porridge, and um, the elders. Uh, these calabashes were marked. There is the special calabash that was used by elders. <laughs> You can see also we have beads over here, we have uh, different beads, we have uh, bracelets, we have uh, basically many beautification things. You can see that we have uh, uh, some, and also we have this, this is a special uh, uh, storage that was used to store uh, Kikuyu drink, Kikuyu uh, liquor that is called Moratin. I don't know whether you know it. And the match it we have bangles you can see. These are hard bangles. And also we have over here we have um, different bits and bit di different uh, uh, kind of bracelets. There is a uh, straight bits. There is bead stretch you can see the bangles have uh, names for the nine daughters and also the names for the clans like Moshera you can see so these are some of the things that these are churros actually often and you can see the earrings for the ladies yeah as well there are the belts and the special uh, can for storing Moratina or the traditional liquor and here we have horns these horns these are uh, horns that were used to uh, uh, to they, they were used uh, for drinking that uh, local liquor that is called Moratina <laughs> That means that we learn the things that uh, we've forgotten, the things that we no longer practice. These are some of the books that were used during the ancient time and now they've been uh, brought back to the market so that people can learn the language which is Kikuyu. You can see for example this karaoke Namodoni, that's a book. Kedamuyo, those are some of the famous books uh, that were written in Kiko. You can see Rodiomiru with Menya Kiko. These are some of the books. Actually, guys, uh, these books were used to be taught in in schools. Like you can see, this uh, book about the Rodiomiru was a book that was used to be taught in class three. But nowadays, they no longer are teachers. And uh, now you can see uh, here we have the traditional attires that uh, people were wearing. This a man that we are with. He is wearing the actual 
traditional attire that they were supposed to be wearing you can see finally we are at the point where we enjoy the traditional folk song kikuyu song enjoy and thank you so much for watching up to this point make sure you subscribe in the meantime let me let you enjoy the music and the dance
Yeah. <laughs> 